I'm Rakti Hawa Brakatha Yehosha Rakti Hawa Brakatha Yehosha Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, How to Deal with Us and Them. Lord will you are edified. Mark 10 and 35 in the NLT. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came over and spoke to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do us a favor. What is your request? He asked. They replied, when you sit on your glorious throne, we want to sit in places of honor next to you, one on your right and the other on your left. But Yahweh said to them, you don't know what you are asking. Are you able to drink from the bitter cup of suffering I am about to drink? Are you able to be baptized with the baptism of suffering I must be baptized with? Oh, yes, they replied. We are able. Then Yahusha told them, You will indeed drink from my bitter cup and be baptized with my baptism of suffering, but I have no right to say who will sit on my right hand or my left. The Most High has prepared those places for the ones he has chosen. When the ten other disciples heard what James and John had asked, they were indignant. So Yahusha called them together and said, You know that the rulers in this world lure it over their people. At this time frame, the rulers in this world is referring to Edomites, and they were known as the Romans. And officials flaunt their authority over those under them but among you the government body to come right but among you the body the body of mashiach it will be different whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant and whoever wants to be first among you must be the slave of everyone else so in a nutshell, the person that has the biggest shoes, right? He must be the biggest servant. This is to exercise humility and brotherly love. And this is how we must treat each other. Okay. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others. And we must have the same mindset in dealing with each other, serving each other, right? We are each other servants. And it starts with the camp heads, right? Trickling down to the last brother beginning with the apostles of great millstone, right? For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. So, Yahweh gave us the protocol on how to deal with each other. Now, in regards to you other nations, right? This is how we will deal with you in our kingdom. Leviticus 25 and 45. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall you buy, and of their families that are with you, which they beget in your land, and they shall be your possession. And you shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen, meaning slaves, forever, but over your brethren, Israelites, so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers. But over your brethren, the sons of Israel, you shall not rule one over another with rigor. Okay, again, the sons of Israel, you shall not rule one over another with rigor. 
And this is literal, right? But dealing with these other nations, we will rule with rigor, right? Let's get Revelation 2 and 26. And this is in the NLT. To all who are victorious, who obey me to the very end, to them I will give authority, meaning power, over all the nations, beginning with the nations, so like it, beginning with the nation of Edom. They will rule the nations with an iron rod and smash them like clay pots. They will have the same authority I receive from my father, and I will also give them the morning star. Okay? And guess what? Yahweh Shai is going to rule the other nations in rigor. And we will follow that same format. Abaratazah. Daniel 7 and 27, and the kingdom and dominion, referring to the kingdom of heaven, and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. So, if you are serving and obeying, that means what? You are enslaved. And the hymn is referring to Yahweh Shai, right? Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. And, and it shall come to pass if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh your power. And it shall come to pass. This is future tense. In regards to the kingdom of heaven due to the second covenant, right? And it shall come to pass if you shall listen diligently unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh, your power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord Yahweh, your power, will set you on high above all nations of the earth. Verse 10. And all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord Yahweh, and they shall be afraid of you. Verse 13. And the Lord Yahweh shall make you the head on top and not the tail, meaning the bottom, and you shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath. If that you listen unto the commandments of the Lord Yahweh, your power, which I command you this day to observe and to do them, right? And this is going into our potential rulership that, that will be led by Yahweh Shai, okay? Let's go to Luke 16 and 24. Now, this parable is the parable of Lazarus. Lazarus is a representation for the nation of Israel. And the rich man is a representation for the nobility of Edom. Right. And Abraham's bosom is a representation for the kingdom of heaven. And it came to pass that the beggar died meaning Lazarus, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom, the kingdom of heaven. The rich man also died, and he was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, meaning our heaven will be the Edomites and the other nations' hell. Okay? Being in torments, and see Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And the reason why he's in torments Right. The reason why he's catching all this hell, because now the curses will be on them. OK, verse 24. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus 
that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, meaning he's begging for a break because of the curses. For I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, son, remember that you in your lifetime, your kingdom, your blessing, the blessing of Esau, right? Receive your good things and likewise Lazarus evil things, meaning in your heaven was our hell. But now he is comfort because now we are in our heaven and by default, it's your hell and you are tormented. Okay, so Yahweh gave a protocol on how to deal amongst us. And the way we deal amongst us will be different in regards on how we deal with the other nations. Lord will you edify Shalom.